Five J. Now y'all won't get uniform. <laughs> All right, uh, uh, Facebook, we here. Get your squad. Got the, the crew. Our second second week in February getting started. Our fans day today is kind of special. Um, we came over here to my brother's keeper, Miss Michelle Suazo, invited us down. So we down here. Uh, we down here helping out uh, at my brother's keeper. Um, in a transition kitchen, so it's a great opportunity for the boys to see some different stuff that's going on. Um, they got t-shirts for them to wear, so y'all missed out Ty today, shirt and tie day. Uh, so, um, got Mr. Elliot, you know, got my shirt and tie on. <laughs> hey, Mr. Elliot, what's going on, what's going on, you know, so, got the fellas down here, uh, about to help out. So this is basically like, where we at, my brother's keeper. About to start happening out. Um, got the kitchen over there. Got Michelle right there, Michelle Swazo. Got the Willing Hams. <laughs> Came over with some of the fellas from uh, Makings of a Man. Uh, we got Miss Christina that always look out for us. That told uh, Michelle to invite me and Melvin, so everything definitely appreciated, Miss Christina. You know, so. Got the, the crew, the, the fellas. So we got them in the kitchen. The boys keep looking so sharp. It's okay. Yeah, it, this is kind of like perfect. This is our, our shirt and tie Wednesday. So, oh, nice. Yeah, we do it every Wednesday. We do shirts and ties. So eventually we went to the point where we all have like a button up shirt. So for right now, until then, we, all, we like this. If they wear a polo shirt, they can wear a polo shirt with the tie as long as they got the shirt and tie on. So. Very nice. Yeah. Okay. I want to introduce, um, and, and you have to yeah. say your name again. Matthew. 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 Tommy Capullo. Tommy Capullo. Tommy Capullo. Tommy Capullo. Tavon right. Mason, nice right. to meet you. So, um, Tavon has uh, his nonprofit, nonprofit, uh, Tavon Mason loves the kids and he does the slipper drive and all of that, but he also works with Melvin in Makings of a Man and he does an after school program. Yeah. So, the, the boys that are here now, they all meet to do homework uh, together. And, um, stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So I work at Franklin Middle. I'm a behavior specialist there. Um, Miss Elliot, chorus teacher, teacher teaches cool. music. And when I kind of like put the idea of wanting to start this, it's called G Squad. So we call it Gentleman Squad, G Squad for short. And he came to me like, I want to be a part of it. And helped me put the mission together. And we got it out to the teachers. So last Wednesday was our actual after first after school day. Oh, congratulations! Thank you. Yeah. That's so awesome. we start with work study for about like an hour. The next part we call our rap session. So we talk about. Uh, any pressing issues, uh, life issues, goal settings, just trying to ch uh, change little behaviors that we're seeing for being late to class, like attending class on time, the whole sagging thing. We don't like that, so pulling your pants up. Um, every Wednesday, shirt and tie day for us, um, so they can be seen in the school. That's starting to attract a lot more young men that want to be in a group, but we kind of like in our boot camp phase now where we're trying to get them acclimated with coming in. Um, getting that work, we made took folders, laminated them, so they take those folders around to their teachers, get any work they need, come into my office, and we sit down with them, put music on, work, whatever it is they need to get done. How many days yeah. a week? Once a week. You said Wednesdays? Yep, Wednesdays? every Wednesday. So we go from about 2.45 to about 5 o'clock. Yeah. So when Michelle presented us with this uh, opportunity, had to jump on it, because um, we wasn't going to start doing like in the community stuff until March, but when we had, I wanted them to come down and be able to see stuff like this, so they can... Uh, See you. That's our second we started. We actually started a while ago. I was taking out the class. Like, I know several questions. We wanted to have them in STEM grade, that way we have a 7th, 8th grade so we keep the pressure on And then when they leave next year, they can kind of like pay the torch in the next week. So at the end of this month, 
don't want to probably interview probably like two more kids. Right. 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 A lot of them actually have like a little bit of a business. See where that is. It's just something they can really do. Um, they would like to do and just find a way where they are. Everybody likes chicken. Everybody likes chicken. I got my father and six chefs right here. Bye, guys. Yeah, yeah, right. we, we, so we are. I think just okay. I just want to say completely separate from what's happening mm. right here. <clears throat> I've been a director of a nonprofit in New York okay. um, that brings soapbox for me racing oh, cool. STEM curriculum yeah. into the school environment. Right. And what we've seen is the pilots over the past few years is this an incredibly motivating way to get kids involved, not just from an academic standpoint, right. and obviously important science, technology, and right. that, but it really gives them empowerment. Um, they see tangible results okay. of the things that they're doing. Right. It's applied learning right off the bat. Right. Um, and I'm just thinking, I mean, because seventh graders are right. perfect age, yeah. they develop character, yeah. leadership, um, mm -hmm. a whole host of things. And right. if you're looking for curricular, for extracurricular mm -hmm. activities, oh, yeah. Oh, I need, need that because that whole balance, private and talking. Here's the same way. I just, I have the, we have the school part. Mm -hmm. So having the school, we go right into it, you right. know, and um, that's what we want to add on top of just doing a work study, but have them doing stuff to keep them motivated and see. And we already, and our, we already told them that, you know, we have resources for y'all, but we have to do the groundwork first. And that y'all starting to make this turn in the classroom of being late, uh, not having to be told or prompted like three or four times mm -hmm. and get started on your work, you know, being involved, not worrying about who's in the classroom because I don't like the teacher. Right. Why? You have a reason why you don't like the teacher. You just don't want to be in the classroom. You don't want to do the work. So we got to start changing that that mindset. So that's what, like I said, the boot camp month February is for, mm -hmm. just to start banging on the ground level. And then once March comes, we start getting out into the community. Like right close by school, whether it's like cleaning up around the school or walking to that supermarket up the street and introducing them to the uh, manager and then helping bring carts and some carts in and then help people take stuff to their car, just starting to do more than just give, give, take, take. Yeah, G-Squad, <laughs> yeah. Like G -squad, yeah. Should definitely get your card because okay. what I can do is, as part of this program, we also did a documentary feature film okay. that really shows the, how the program works and the benefits of it. Okay. Um, and one of the pilot schools is PS57. Okay. Um, but we also have some in okay. schools that yeah. are involved. And it just shows how it motivates the students to do exactly what you're talking about. Right. To right. time for class. It takes a personal right. responsibility to be respectful to be right. empowering. So if you give me your card, okay, email, we'll, I'll we'll, send you the private we'll, link to the Okay. The yeah. so I'll do that. That's, that's mine. Definitely will. Yeah, thank you, thank you. So, so, and, so this is my hope that if if we have the kitchen space down in Southwest Baltimore, mm -hmm. that that you guys can bring your magic okay. down there. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah no problem. Um, be, because I think that. That really, it, it takes all these different levels, yeah. right, of um, in, engaging the, the kids. And it, it's so hard to to find men that that the kids can look up to. Right. And, and men that have different niches. Like, everybody have a, a piece that they bring to the puzzle. It would, so. be, it would be nice for them to have something yeah. every day. Yeah. Yeah. You know, something yeah. something to look forward to uh, when and if they get out of school. Mm -hmm. You told us to look it up on Instagram. Okay. Oh, that's cool. My man, what's how you doing? You remember I, I, who did I show Chef Stu? Was it you the wrong? I told you about Chef Stu? No, it was Ann. Uh, uh, yeah, he's a, um, he's on a cooking show. He's a celebrity chef. Huh? I don't know. He was on like on a like a huge cooking show. Would you like on no. Scoot ain't on his level. Scoot is a good rapper, but he ain't on. No, he's like on a main network cooking show, like celebrity. He's a celebrity chef. So a lot of what he doing today and allowing y'all to do today, he normally charge 
it do like a lot of money. Like he get paid like a lot of money. So, but he's creating this transition kitchen. <laughs> so you got jokes. Don't smack him yet. Don't smack him yet. All right. Don't smack him yet. <laughs> got Chef Stu over there. Celebrity Chef Stu over there allowing the kids to come in. Man, what's up, man? He won't have y'all up there next. He won't have y'all up there next. Mixing in the kitchen. So it's awesome to be here with uh, Melvin and making of a man ministry. I can't let him be the only one to show you up. He's the shortest one in here. <laughs> <laughs> Which one of y'all going up there? Go ahead, Trey. Come on, Trey. Start off. Jerome, you want to start us off? You want to start us off? Come on, man. Go ahead, Trey. Let's start it off, man. Get up there. Celebrity Chef Stu is helping the, the young man out. So definitely go look up uh, Celebrity Chef Stu. He's starting to transition kid himself. Um, he's on Twitter, Instagram, and he's on Facebook. Got the fellas. G Squad fellas. Got makings of a man. Yeah, yay. Yeah. Oh yeah, I got you, man. I'm double fisting over here for you. <laughs> Yeah, I've been there. 
I've been there. You did? Yeah. Alright, so you know that salad dressing that everybody likes to sit this kind of stuff. Okay. Which is the best thing you can do with the Alright, so I had my other little homeboy over here helping me out. He cut the onion off the next cut. I know he can't handle it, so I'm going to go ahead and step in for him. So when you cut an onion like this, I call this the light bulb. What you call this? It looks like a little bit. This one don't look like a light bulb. This is the light bulb. Now I call it the light bulb. This is the light bulb. I'll take that out. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to have a light bulb. And then you just got this in there and you kind of put the onion back together. This is key, again, uh, the knife cuts is very, very important. But when you're trying to make a dish, you want everything to look a certain type of way. So for our salad, I'm going to show you guys the first knife cut. Here's the spoon that can be some plain spoon. I need a bigger spoon. Here's the smallest one. I can taste this. 